Hey everybody and welcome to the Daily Scopes, 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 Scopes for the 3rd of December. So today we've got Venus making a square to Pluto, the Moon entering Leo and Mars making a quinquarch to Jupiter. So positively the Moon in Leo can give us more confidence, um, increase our enthusiasm and creativity, giving us the natural flair for the dramatic but on the negative we can become self-absorbed and to um, be too dramatic and try and get one over 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 other others you know wanting to be the center of attention as well and the negative you know end but it's good for forms of creativity working with others if you can remain to let them have their say and make sure you have your say and respect each other's boundaries and to have an equal input as well and express yourself authentically and to shine your light brightly in the other sign as well Venus is square to Pluto allows us to be more intimate with others and to focus on, you know, relationships and forming them and having more growth within them as well, encouraging us to confront any hidden issues um, which can lead to great authenticity and trust within ourselves and in relationships. Negatively, it can make us more possessive, jealous and create power struggles in relationships as well. It wants us to, you know, work on being less insecure and just focusing on, you know, just listening to others actively, stating your mind, trying to not be so fearful of conflict as well. With all Pluto sort of Scorpio energy and Venus as well, sexual repressions may come up in our relationship as well in the way that we express ourselves uh, or fail to express ourselves as well so just um you know some of us even though venus can be a central central energy square in pluto right now and both of these planets um you know pluto and scorpio have all our sexual organs venus governs our you know romance and our superficial love pluto kind of has more of a deeper input and this is why you know but Venus can make us jealous or over infatuated or pedestal people as well who we love you know seeing who we want them to be rather than getting to know who they really are and trying you know being open to loving them and for who they actually are rather than you know how much they can live up to our expectations this is why it's so important to get to the bottom of what you really want especially as we get older into our 30s late 20s in our relationship or when you just say you know I've had enough of all this heartbreak and this, this could happen in your 20s or in your teens you know it's up to you but just to be more intentional in the way that you date and get to know somebody and getting more intentional in how you we love people because we've all been programmed because you know certain generations you know to do things to get approval from our parents or uh, there's a lot of projection what I've been getting of it in our parent kind of child relationship where you want your children to be who you think this should be rather than you know not saying you don't love them for who they are but until when we heal all of our trauma especially on the subconscious level we can be who we don't think that we are so what I mean by that as well we can you know because we can say words you know and a lot of the time as people we don't see ourselves clearly until we become more self-aware so sometimes we can talk a good game but our day-to-day actions are not actually doing who we authentically being who we authentically are just giving yourself that grace to transform these self-destructive behaviors or self-limiting behaviors mars also makes a queen quote to jupiter today so this brings in restlessness and um, wants us to transform and expand as well so this supports pluto's energy as well but also you know brings with it adds to it that we may be impulsive and hasty in our decision making as well but it does help us to think outside the box and embrace change it's essential to find a balance between taking calculated risks and maintaining stability with this mars queen quartz jupiter energy as well venus is square to sort of like pluto and the psychological and spiritual level invites us to explore our shadows and face our deep rooted fears and repressions especially our sexual repressions of things that we don't allow ourselves to experience on the sexual level because we've been saying in the past by having these desires and as long 
because you know the other party consent and stuff you know sets or especially is based on agreement you know and it's not based on a external judgment it's based on you know the people involved in the relationship being consensual and happy with the way that it is it's not about you know what Joe public the average person says that a sex life should be like as well so this energy allows us to have cathartic experiences allowing us to heal emotional wounds and transform ourselves and profound levels if we're open to it as well and get to the depths of our souls and confront unhealthy patterns of behavior reacting and attaching to ourselves and others you know content creators can use this energy to discuss how we can create more healthier relationships with ourselves and others talking about you know the venus energy which represents love and beauty and um you know how the class with the pluto energy can lead to confrontations but how we can um heal tension in our relationships and how tension and arguments are not necessarily bad things how they can help us these power struggles overcome you know negative traits within ourselves and how to deal with being obsessive and or, or having them obsessive or infatuated with someone and it's not required we've all sort of like been there well not everybody but if you've been there i've been there so you know it's about setting light and the psychological implications of deep-rooted emotions so anything that allows you to do that to encourage people to self-reflect and to love themselves even when they're not being their best selves or when they feel they're letting themselves learning teaching them that you know life is all about experience and mistakes is just human you know and you know it's within this giving us grace to be human and to experience love and especially self-love and self-empowerment as well giving tips and strategies and how they can become more self-empowered self understanding and forgiving and loving and nurturing and how we can manage ourselves and be more receptive to building healthy relationships and getting over self-destructive thoughts behaviors and relationships as well so yeah, that's the daily scopes, 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 scopes for the 3rd of December.